Now exactly. Yes. So I'm trying to heat up the streets, and then them them features gonna be coming in for my album. Nice. And, and speaking of life in plastic, I see you got some more things. You got things reduced, like fat taken out. Mm -hmm. So what made you decide to do that? It hurts. Mm -hmm. Pain. Um, not wanting a big butt anymore. I still love my butt. I've, I already got four reductions already. Okay. It's take it's levels to this reducing yeah, shit. So I'm just like Yeah, it's way harder to put it to it's take it out. It's way harder to take it, it out. And, yeah. People be like, Oh, it looks like she didn't take anything out, bitch. I took that shit out four times. You're not about to keep making me go put anesthesia in my body <laughs> to please y'all asses. <laughs> like, fuck that. I mean, why did you get them done in the first place? This is I mean, you don't think about like the long term effects? I think about this shit. I'm like, what are the long term effects of putting in all this silicone, all this stuff in your body? Like, what are you gonna look like when you're 50? We gonna look when you're 40? I mean, I know it hurts. I just, <laughs> you know, but um, yeah, I just wanted a more natural body, and I still do. Mm -hmm. So I'm okay. just slowly getting there, so it takes time. What is that procedure like when you get it taken out? Because I know there's women who probably also feel the same way, and they're thinking about it. So what's that like? Um, picking a good doctor. Mm -hmm. um, I went to Carlos Gomez. He's in Columbia. He's really good with reconstruction. Um, and I send a lot of women to him that. Because, you know, like when I wanted to do a removal, it's like nobody wants to fucking tell you that shit. Like nobody want to. It's like mm -hmm. the doctors are, is the Krabby Patty formula. Like yeah. nobody want to give that shit out. Right. Yeah, you know, but I gave my doctor out to women and shared my story, you know, throughout vlogging and stuff like that. Because I wanted to be able to help people the way I wanted to be helped. Like right. nobody yeah. goes and tell You go on a strip club, every bitch is acting like. Is top flight secret mm -hmm. to get their doctor. No matter yeah. what it is. We ain't gonna look the yeah. same regardless. <laughs> right, right. So it don't matter. But. Man, I, I, I guess I, I just didn't know any of this shit, man. I'm just coming to, coming to learn about this. It's a whole fucking thing with this plastic surgery thing. It's like. I, 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 I mean, I can imagine, because I guess it's like kind of like, you know dick size and shit like that but even still man i would never ever 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 in my life get something inside of me plastic regardless man i just i just don't agree with like getting shit done to myself like i believe in an all natural all natural all natural route thing and it's like i mean i'm glad she's becoming reverting back to being natural i guess like to me, it just comes off as insecurity in the first place. Why in the fuck? And, and here's the deal. It's like, uh, I think like women want to talk about, oh, it's the standard that you men put on us. But you're not doing it for us. You're doing it for other girls, man. You're doing it for other girls. And if you are doing it for, for niggas, if you're doing it for men, why do you stop there? Why, why, why do you actually do that? If it is for guys, why do you do the most extreme shit but forget the most little shit? You go ch physically change your fucking God-given body, and you want to say that it's because of a men's standard of beauty? Well, how about the fact that we also, there are other things that you can do that will give you just as much, if not more, fucking compliance from men if you were to actually just have a good personality, if you were to, let's say, give your man more threesomes, let's say, just, just actually treat the man like a fucking king. You don't have to go get plastic surgery to, to if and if it, this is for women that say that they, oh we do it for men we do it for y'all because y'all like this y'all like this shit why don't you do this shit that you don't have to alter your body for it for a guy if you do if you say that you want a guy you want to do it for the guy do other things that don't require altering your fucking body like I just don't get it that's why it's kind of hard for me to understand this but I mean good for her she's trying to go natural. And it's so funny. I, I, this side note, man. Everyone hated the Yeezy foam sliders. I'm seeing these things all over the place, man. I think they're so... F I still think they're fucking ugly. I think they're fucking ugly. They're way too damn expensive to be this damn ugly. Dear Lord. Like, they, they're still... Uh, I don't care who... How many people rock these fucking slides, man. Or these shoes, bro. I just, I just can't get them. Look like something off of Alien vs. Predator or something. Snot. Okay. <laughs>
Like motherfucking turn it into some shoes or some shit, bro. Nah. Yeah. <laughs>